Hey everyone, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about my week one reset overview. I am on day seven, nearly done. I have dinners just left. So I thought this was the perfect time. And I also wanted to share with you how this week one of my reset differed from the reset this time last year when I did it for the very first time. But first things first, week one is really about removing foods from your diet that are tough on your digestive system. So foods like red meat and dairy that are really difficult for your body to digest. So what is ha what happens for you is every single day you are given a menu and it is broken down into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's really, really simple. I mean, your recipes are given to you. They're in this book. And not only are they in the book, but the difference between, and that's a big difference between this time last year and now, is I can also access everything digitally. So if I'm in the grocery store, I can pull up all of my menus and all of my recipes. It's really nice to have that capability on the go. But I like the program guide too, because I'm always flipping through it and looking back. But basically you'll have breakfast and that breakfast could look anything like eggs, toast, and spinach or kale or oatmeal with mixed berries and a cup of yogurt on the side. It's really um, a ton of food and that's a lot of the feedback that I'm getting from the women who are doing the, the group with me right now. They're kind of overwhelmed because when they signed up they really thought I'm doing some sort of detox or cleanse and while that will come out of this program, the, the idea behind it isn't to make you, you know, feel like you have to run to the bathroom or feel deprived in any way whatsoever. This is absolutely the opposite. This is fueling your body with the right types of food to allow your body to gently reset over three weeks. So at lunchtime, that can look anything like um, a big salad with soup on the side, to quinoa, to lentils, all really good, wholesome grains. And, and you know, what the other thing that I love is you're also adding in um, things like pine nuts and pumpkin seeds, just absolutely delicious. And it, and it makes sense why you're doing this and why it would help for your digestion. And finally, dinner. Dinner is always the lightest meal of the day, but it can range. Like for example, day one is salmon and potatoes and asparagus and day two are tacos. So you have a lot of variability. And that's, I think, one of the things that makes the program so successful because it keeps your taste buds fired up and you excited about your next meal. And one question I wanted to answer because people always have it. They're like, well, what if I hate salmon and I don't want that for dinner? Not to worry. At the back of our program guide, we have what's called reset and a crunch. And there's always at least two to three alternatives for every single meal. And they're delicious. So for once, one night this week when I was really busy and I didn't have time to prep anything ahead of time, I had a reset and a crunch. And it was simply stir-fried veggies that everyone loved. So I made them again the next day and I doubled or tripled the recipe for everyone in the family. And, you know, rice and beans, like really simple stuff to make, but so, so tasty. So that's your food that you're looking at in week one, just really wholesome, dense, nutrient-rich, delicious foods. The other part of week one is your supplements. And if you saw my introduction to the reset, you would know that they're part of the reset. The other half to the nutritious foods are the supplements that you're given. And they're of course all natural. So in week one, you start with mineralized, which is simply pink Himalayan salt. That's in your water and you're drinking water. Just like you know that you're supposed to drink water all the time, you drink it during the reset. And they always, they still recommend the same, which is half your body weight in ounces every day. So you've got your mineralized. We have optimized, which is a digestive enzymes. You take them about 30 minutes before your meal and you carry through with that particular supplement throughout the entire program. And in fact, all of these supplements, you really can continue afterwards if you'd like to. And then the other um, supplement that you take during week one is Soothe. And actually you take this also throughout. And it's something that I've continued forward even past the reset last year. Soothe is simply turmeric and aloe vera. These are great for your digestion, but they also are wonderful antioxidants. So I figure why not keep these on a daily basis? So you've got your food and you've got your supplements and boom, you're done. And I'll tell you what, like it's actually really, really simple. And I am not someone who quote unquote diets. 
Um, I really stink when it comes to being on a regimented, regimented plan, but this doesn't feel that way. This doesn't feel that way because every day you're eating your three meals a day. I didn't mention snack, but I have a snack every day and there's great options in here too. Um, and so it doesn't feel like in any way um, a diet or a deprivation. So that's sort of the outline of week one. But the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is how I'm feeling differently this go around. And I think that, you know, what I learned from the reset last year, I carried a lot of that through into my daily living going forward these past 12 months. Um, and, you know, one of those things was that dairy is not a friend <laughs> to my body. And so I really avoid dairy basically on the daily anyway. So starting to remove that from my diet this week was really not a big deal whatsoever. I eat minimal red meat. So again, that really didn't phase me. And the other thing that people have a tough time with, if they're going to have a tough time with anything, it's the fact that they get off caffeine for the reset. So for me, this time last year, I was drinking around two cups of coffee and I dealt with what anyone would deal with when they come off caffeine, which are headache withdrawals. And so um, I didn't have that because I actually never went back to coffee after the reset last year, which is kind of crazy because as I enjoyed it, um, and I still have a decaf here and there because I enjoy the taste of it, but for me, it had become more of a habit and it really wasn't something that was serving me. It's not good for my body. Um, I actually had an MRI this time last year and I have dense tissue. So, you know, one of those triggers for dense fibrocystic dense tissue for breast tissue is caffeine. And so my doctor had suggested slash urged me to avoid caffeine. So I did that, you know, part of the reset was getting off of caffeine in my diet and I stayed away from it and I just had my repeat MRI and it was great. I got the best report that I've ever gotten. And, you know, while I'm certainly not making a medical diagnosis or anything to that fact, you do know your body and me removing caffeine. And because of the reset, I took it out of my diet and never went back to it. It's been monumental for me in terms of my internal health. Um, what else? Okay, my losses for week one. I lost several pounds, I lost the bloat, and I just lost that grogginess feeling. And then of course, my gains, I've gained clarity, I've gained energy, and I've just regained that confidence that I know I can make all the right choices for myself, for our family, that are gonna help us feel our best. So. That is my week one review. I am going to, of course, do this after week two and week three for you guys, but that's what I've got so far. Thanks for listening.